In this video, we'll run through an example of hypothesis testing for two proportions. The Boston Consulting Group released a survey of 948 executives representing 68 countries. One of the questions on the survey examined if executives ranked innovation as the top priority for the coming year. The responses for 400 executives in the United States and 300 from Asia are in our sample. Our question is to determine if the same proportion of U.S. and Asian executives feel that innovation is their top priority for the coming year. So does the proportion of the executives in the United States seem to be approximately equal to the proportion from Asia, or are they statistically different from each other? Before we can proceed, we need to check for normality. Can we assume the distribution of the proportions are each approximately normally distributed? We have to check each of the two samples to be sure. So we'll use the sample proportion since we don't have the population proportion, and we want to check to see if we take n times that sample proportion and n times 1 minus that sample proportion that we always get something greater than 5. So for the United States, we had 400 executives. 60 of them indicated that innovation was their top priority. So 60 out of 400 is our sample proportion. 400 times 60 over 400 is 60. That's greater than 5. For Asia, it was 300 executives. 63 out of 300 indicated innovation was its top priority. That leaves us 63. 63 is greater than 5. So then we'll do the 1 minus. 400 times 1 minus 60 over 400 is 340. That is greater than 5. And 300 times 1 minus 63 out of 300, that's 237. That is greater than 5. So check. We can assume the United States proportion is approximately normal. And check. We can assume the Asian proportions are approximately normal. So let's run through this hypothesis test. We're attempting to determine if the proportions that feel that innovation is their top priority are different between the U.S. and Asian executives. We're going to assume a 2% level of significance for this test. We're going to start by assuming that the proportion for those in the U.S. is equal to the proportion for those in Asia for choosing innovation as their top priority. And we're going to attempt to prove that the proportion in the U.S. is something statistically different than the proportion in Asia. We may believe that proportion is statistically higher or statistically lower. We just want to see it that it's something statistically different. To be able to graph this and for the computer to be able to think about it, we're going to rearrange this. We're going to assume that if we take the U.S. proportion and subtract out the Asian proportion, we get zero. In other words, there is no difference between the two proportions. Our alternative hypothesis, what we're attempting to prove, is that the two proportions, when we subtract them, do not equal zero. In other words, the U.S. minus the Asian proportion would be something statistically far away from zero. Now, on our graph, what that's going to mean is that our sample statistic, our sample proportion for U.S. minus our sample proportion for Asia, that's our point estimate, that our sample point estimate will be something far away from zero. So we're looking for something way far away to the high end or way far away to the low end. We don't really care which. We're just trying to see is it out here in this tail where there's only a 1% chance of being in this upper tail or in this lower tail. So Minitab can do this calculation for us, and it can do this with the raw data. The raw data for this particular problem had a series of yeses and nos, the top priority or not the top priority for the U.S. and for Asia. We're going to go to Stat, Basic Statistics, and two proportions. We're attempting to compare the proportion for one country to the proportion for another country, so that's a two-proportion test. The two-proportion dialog box allows us to have several options here. Both samples are in one column. That would be where numbers or the response would be in one column. So our yeses and nos, for example, would all be in one column. And then another column would be an ID where it would be U.S. and Asia in that column. 
or each sample is in its own column. That's how our data is here. The US and Asia are two separate samples and they're each in their own column. We could also use summarized data. So if we had just the two proportions, like the 60 out of 400 and the 63 out of 300, we could just use summarized data and plug those two proportions in. I'm gonna run with the each sample is in its own column so that we can use the data in the spreadsheet. So I've punched US into the sample one and Asia into sample two. I match these up to what we did in our hypotheses. And then I'm going to open the options dialog box. You can see we have the option here to set our confidence level. Hypothesized difference. This is almost always zero because we're typically just trying to prove that there is a difference. You can see the alternative hypothesis here. Since we're just trying to prove that the two proportions are not equal, we're going to leave that at not equal, but we could choose other options there. And then in this test method, there's an important thing to notice. We have two different things here. Estimate the proportions separately and use the pooled estimate of the proportion. If we were attempting to generate a confidence interval, we would use the first option. The first option says estimate the proportions separately. In other words, we're not going to assume that those two things are approximately equal. A confidence interval for the difference between the two proportions would be attempting to see where that difference lies, not assuming that the two proportions are equal. But for a hypothesis test, we assume that the two proportions are equal. So we're going to treat them as if they're the same. When we do a hypothesis test then, we pool the two proportions together to generate our standard error. So we're going to pick use the pooled estimate hit OK, hit OK again. Here is our output from Minitab. You can see where it says the sample information that it looked at, the proportion one, the proportion where US priority equals yes, that's what we wanted. The proportion two, the Asian priority equal yes, that's what we wanted. They give us some descriptive statistics in this second block here. You notice a confidence interval here that you could use. We're going to look at the p-value, and I'm going to zoom in here, and you can see a z-value and a p-value. We're actually going to use the p-value in the row called normal approximation, but you could use the z-value here and use your z-table or your norm.s.inv to get a z-critical value and compare. I'm going to stick with that p-value because that's the easiest one for us to use. So we're attempting to prove the two proportions are different from each other. On our picture then, that meant that we were looking for something in the tails way far away from zero. Our two proportions, when they calculated the difference, had a 0 0.06 difference when we did US minus Asia. So we got a value here of six percentage points difference between the two. But when the p-value was calculated from that, that p-value was 0 0.039. We were looking for a p-value less than 2%, and our p-value happens to be greater than 2%. Since our p-value is big, we cannot reject the null. We cannot say that there is a statistical difference between the United States and Asian executives in terms of choosing innovation as their top priority. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.